Pagod na ka overthink thinking too much about your future, beating yourself up over past mistakes, worrying what others are thinking of you. Nakaka-overwhelm. Hulat. Udong anay. Kay mapaniaga na kita. Gets kita kapatid. Gusto mo lang naman maging prepared, makahanap ng solutions, or maiwasan ng pagkakamali. But there is a big difference between problem solving and overthinking. Kapag sinabing problem solving, it is something that goes into our mind but we don't allow our thoughts to take over us. At kapag sinabi namang overthinking, it is something that goes into our minds and our thoughts as sila ay di natin namamalayang They are already enslaving us. Yay! Ang hirap lumusot sa sitwasyong mismong our emotions take control of us. Friends, overthinking can lead to depression, anxiety, and inability to move forward. Actually, we may not even realize you are overthinking because we are thinking all the time. And it comes so naturally to all of us. Nasanay na? at nakasanayan na nating tiktak tiktak mag-isip. Ang nakakalungkot pa nito ay minsan we find ourselves constantly living out scenarios in our mind that don't come to pass. Naisip ba natin na when we are nervous about something, whether it be a deadline for work, a conversation we are not looking forward to having, or a major event that could go well or poorly, It is so easy to let ourselves be consumed with the what if. Alam natin na kapag ang overactive mind might lead to some kind of disorder na di natin alam ay we are being eaten by it. Nakaka-addict na hindi natin alam papaano mag-quit when all we hear is our own voice repeating our own problems Over and over and over again, we actually have little space to hear God's voice. We block at nagigibingi na tayo to hear the gentle whispers of God. Friends, when we would feel and notice ourselves overthinking, remember St. Paul's three instructions sa the Philippians at mayin sa atin ay pwedeng i-apply. He essentially says, Don't worry about anything but be grateful and put your trust in something greater than you. Yep, alam ko, it is easier said than done. But baby steps, kumbaga, unti-unti man ay may kahantungan din. Then, that time, we will begin to experience amazing peace, kind of peace we can't even imagine if we follow these instructions. It's kind of peace that makes no earthly sense. This kind of peace is just so powerful that it has a protective function sa puso natin, in our minds, that only makes it easier for us to support and be grateful in life. Trust, kapatid, at kapit sa Diyos. We lean not on our own understanding, but rather on God, who knows our past, present, and future, to depend and to trust on. Remember, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Mga Jigita, Lord, give us the grace to trust you with all our heart, and may we not lean on our own understanding. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.